Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you two things that you can do in Remind once you've created classes. The first is how you can add people, and the second is how you can add an owner. If you'd like to add people who are not already on your list from PowerSchool um, or parents, you can add more. So you can add tutors, you can add grandparents, you can add step-parents, whoever you want that's an adult. You simply need to click on the class, go over to add people, type in the name, type in the email, and that person will start to show up. When you go to add people though, you also have options uh, where you could print a PDF and send that home with the students, if that's something that would work for you. You can have the person interact through their uh, smartphone, or you can share a link with somebody. So there's a variety of ways that you can add people to the class who are not already there. Another cool reason you might want to add to a class or even create a new class would be for PLCs. You can then just automatically put in your colleagues' names and they'll be on your, um, your group so you guys could message each other. If you would like to add an owner, again, just make sure you're on the correct class. Go up to the gear box, click on owners, and then you're going to see that myself and Andrea have been um, designated as the owners of this class. And you're probably going to have a lot more options once you click add class owner than I do. But I have a few people that I can select from um, the fake names that I created in Kresge. So if I click on Jeff and I add him, they're going to ask me if I'm sure that I want to do this. Make sure that it's the right person, especially if your list is much longer and has parents and other adults in there. And then just simply hit add, and now they're a class owner. So they'll have some of those same um, features and same powers that you do for that class. If you have any questions, reach out to any of the coaches and we'd be happy to help you out. Thank you.